Yes, guys, we are back for yet another episode. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for being here and clicking on this video. So many op shops to get stuck into, so many items to go and potentially find. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you what could be a very, very good thrift run. Uh, let's get into the first one. No mucking around today. First op shop, it's coming right up. <laughs> Well, there's one thing for sure, guys, and I am very, very excited to be back in the thrift. The first item that I've been able to find here is this Taco Zombie Club singlet. There is absolutely no money to be made on eBay with this guy, but I just like the back print and I wanted to get it into the video. Unfortunately, guys, most of this store was heavily overpriced. This Nike polo for $15 wasn't going to do me any favors. I found this embroidered Nike training top as well for $15, and as nice as it was, again, couldn't play with it. Harley Davidson jumper, a very, very cool piece. Uh, a $20 price tag, sorry about that. Won't be taking that one either but did find the Jordans. These are the liftoffs. Now, they're worth $166 in brand new condition, but I think I could have only probably got about 80 bucks for them, and they were in relatively okay condition. But in the end, guys, even after having a look at another pair uh, right behind the counter as well, I ended up passing on these ones, but it wasn't the only pair of good shoes I found today. Have a look at these things. These are the Nike Air Max Up Tempos University Blue, a US size 9, and have a look at that, $312 in brand new condition. This is an unbelievable pair and I've only paid the $9. Found a lot of clothing as well, guys. These were a pair of Wranglers that I'll always grab when I find them. Uh, a lot of corduroy. These were a pair of Billabong pants as well. They were brand new with tags, so I was happy to get my hands on those. But ultimately, guys, it was just a stack of plain Jane type clothing that goes pretty well on eBay. These really nice jeans, uh, size, uh, well, actually, they were a red pair, 3301s. That I, I thought they were pretty cool too. The button up uh, G Stars, you'll go all right there. Um, went over to the shoe section as well, and um, I did find another pair of Asics as well. These were the 758 XTRs and pretty pretty standard process for me when it comes to shoes. $15 into about 50 bucks on eBay. Well, guys, we're well and truly underway here. What a great start to the day. The Nike Air Max Up Tempo University Blues. These were a ridiculous first grab to start the day, guys. They're a US size 9. I might have touched on it in my little uh, voiceover earlier on, but I am just that wrapped about these. And uh, I do think they're going to push about 150 bucks because they're selling in, in brand new condition for about 200 to 250 So 150 bucks. I've paid the $9 for them. I'm going to give them a good scrub up. But when it comes to shoes, guys, the one key factor is the sole. I, I look for obviously fabric tears along the top of the shoe, but the money is going to be made depending on how good the bottom of the shoe is. So these ones still in amazing condition. What a great start to the day, guys. An easy $100 profit there, no doubt about it. Um, let's jump into the second one. I'm feeling really good. So far, so good. Tell you what guys, if you were an Elvis fan, you would have absolutely loved this thrift store. Have a look at all the VHS, all the CDs, all the books. This was absolutely Elvis heaven. Um, didn't end up buying anything though, but uh, I also found this dino poop. Why anyone would put this into a thrift store, I have no idea. Um, no, didn't grab it. What was that? Um, also found all these DS games. Unfortunately, there was no value in any of those either. And then I also found this Gold Coast Suns tracksuit. Now, this was brand new with tags and it was catching my eye. However, a $25 price tag, unfortunately guys, I literally couldn't find anything else in this thrift store. Well, guys, that was the store that I found the Jordans in last week. And then sure enough, I go in this week and we found absolutely nothing. Uh, couldn't get anything. I checked everywhere and, um, yeah, we've come up short. So I won't call that the end of off-shop run number two. We'll keep moving on. We'll get into the next one. Hopefully, I can buy some stuff. We're in luck, guys. I've been able to find this Nike golf polo shirt. This one reminded me of Tiger at the Masters, and it had an $8 price tag, and uh, I, I do push them for $29.99 on eBay, so I was happy with the pickup there. I found the Toronto Blue Jays, just a plain blue uh, training top, but a very, very cool piece for 4 bucks. Oh, 
Always happy to find the American sporting gear in the thrift. Uh, an Adidas embroidered t-shirt, $8. If it was my size, I might have bought it for myself, but at 8 bucks, I can't make any money on it. The Melbourne Demons look. This was a really cool feeler tee. A really nice vintage look about it as well. But in the end, guys, I did have to leave this one behind at $8. Found a second one as well, feeler sport. Again, would have bought it for myself, but unfortunately at that price and not being my size, we couldn't do too much with these two pieces. Uh, moved myself across to the kids section where I haven't spent too much time before. Before, but I did find this 1984 Los Angeles Olympic Games Australia Koala plush toy. Now guys, there is some real money to be made in the vintage plush category. And I do like to buy plush toys every now and again, that's for sure. This one had a $15 price tag on it. And I did a quick search on eBay and one sold on a bidding system for $65. So that was enough for me to pick him up. Yes, sir. I had to get him. I actually just left him on the... Uh, have a look at him. What an absolute legend. I might keep this dude. Vintage plush toys, guys. There is money to be made. This guy is a big guy, no doubt about it. Uh, might cost a little bit to put in the post, but... I reckon I can push about 75 bucks for him. I've paid the 15. Shipping's probably going to be about 15 as well. So there might only be about a $20 profit in here, but I just know a 1984 plush toy like this, especially with the Olympics about to be starting, maybe I'll go 100 bucks. The Olympics are starting. I mean, it's all just cogs are ticking in my brain right now. Um, what a great get there. Really happy with this little dude. He's going to sit on my shelf as well for a little while, keep me company while I'm listing. Um, pretty happy with that little grab. Let's keep moving. Op shop number three coming up. <laughs> Are you going to be all right? I've just cracked the window for you. I'll only be about 15, 20 minutes. Is that all right? Good man. We'll see you soon. I was a huge fan of the cricket and I was a huge fan of Adam Gilchrist growing up as a kid. So when I saw the McGrath Foundation wiki keeping gloves, I had to pick them up for $10, but guys, the shoe section absolutely came through. We've got the Jordan 10 Retro London Special Edition Jordans. These had all of MJ's uh, achievements written on the sole of the shoe, and for $370 in new condition, I did pass on these for 50 bucks. I did not pass on these, though. These are an unbelievable pair. Again, a $350 pair of Nike Air Foam Posit. These are the ones, they're a denim colorway, and they go for quite a bit of money. So for $25, I do think I'll be able to profit quite a few dollars on these. What an unbelievable grab. I'm having a good run on the shoes at the moment. It didn't stop there because I did find these Nike footy boots as well for 13 bucks. But guys, I don't buy the metal studs when it comes to football boots. So I did leave those behind. These were the Copa 17.1 men's football boots. Now, they had a $15 price tag on them, but they were leather shoes. So I did go ahead and pick these ones up. I reckon I'll be able to turn them into $50 pretty comfortably. And then I also found a pair of uh, boots that I'll always pay a little bit more money for. These were the 32 snowboard boots and they had a $30 price tag on them, but I can easily turn these ones into about $100 to $150. So I went ahead and picked those ones up as well. The religion, the true religion jeans, I'm always going to grab these. These were the bobbies. Now they go for about 50 bucks on eBay as well. So I was absolutely wrapped to find them in what was a pretty slow denim day across the board. For $15, that's probably the most I would end up paying. So I ended up spending quite a few shillings in this run, guys, but not to worry because there's going to be a lot of money made at the end of the day boy oh boy guys round three has come through with the goods there the nike foam posits these are amazing they'll go for about 100 bucks no worries the condition of those are just excellent the snowboard boots 32 from like our canada ski season days i know that's a great brand excellent pair of shoes they'll go for 100 bucks and the copas they'll go for 50 so what are that what's that add up to maybe 250 bucks and um, the True Religion jeans again, $50. So I'm gonna say we've got $300 out of that single third thrift run. So I'm feeling pretty good about it, guys. Uh, so far, so good today. And um, we've got one more to go. So fingers crossed we can do exactly what we've just done in the last three. Let's get it. I always like to end the day on a high, guys. And I did walk in and find these Forex Gold uh, corduroy hats, but they weren't properly branded. They weren't genuine. So I just thought I wouldn't waste my time. And I did leave those behind. But uh, I did find these Nike Court uh, tennis shoes. These are a pair of women's tennis shoes. These were the Zoom Zeros. And uh, they do go for quite a bit of money. But I did have a really, really good look over the sole. And to be honest with you, I ended up passing on these. Just for the fact that they were tennis shoes, I did want the soles to be relatively good condition. And for $20, I I probably couldn't go ahead with that purchase, but I did find these.
The man himself, the Novak Djokovic Asics tennis shoes. These are an unbelievable pair, selling anywhere between two to $300 in brand new condition. I've just had an unbelievable run with the shoes in this trip, guys. Um, ended up grabbing those for $15. And then I found a Stussy t-shirt as well for five bucks. This was a size small, which isn't always the best. I generally try to get a medium to extra large sort of a sizing. And then a Lorna Jane bag as well, which I, I, I ummed and art about for $6, but I ended up passing on that one as well. So just like that, guys, we are done. A pair of Novak Djokovic tennis shoes. Uh, they're going to sell very, very well. Uh, me and my mate, we're off to go home and list these items and edit this video. So, so thank you very much to the 30% clubbers that are still here watching now. We really do appreciate these guys. So appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for being here, guys. Keep charging. We'll see you in the next.